Hi, we're still looking at power functions, and we're going to look at an unusual one. What we have is z to the power of 3 over 2, and that's equal to negative 6. And we're going to be tempted to start it the same way. In fact, we should start it the same way. We want to get rid of the power, we put each side to the inverse. So we put each side to the power of 2 over 3. And the z will just become z, but when we try and take the negative 6 and put it to the power of 2 thirds, our calculator is going to give us a math error. Likely if it doesn't, it's because you're not putting the negative 6 within brackets, so it's doing 6 to the 2 thirds and then the negative, but it likely is going to give you an error. Well, we can't take a negative to this type of power. The only time we can evaluate the negative is when we're talking about a pure odd root. So one third, one fifth, one seventh, one ninth, something like that. The ninth root, the seventh root, the fifth root, those are the cases we can evaluate. This will have, for our purposes, no solution. And one thing we might be tempted is, from that first video, remember we said you can rewrite these as the top being the number that's squared and the bottom being the root. That doesn't work for negative numbers. You'd be tempted to rewrite this as the cube root of negative 6 squared and evaluate it. Can't do that for these cases. It's also really important to note that we talked about the idea of taking something, if I had say negative 4b, that was to the power of, well, let's keep using 2 over 3. Before we said you could split it up. This doesn't work if the numbers in there are negative or if they're unknown. So let's say we have this, we cannot write this as negative 4 to the 2 thirds and b to the 2 thirds, and that really fits with what we've just been talking about. We just said we can't take negative 4 to the power of 2 thirds. But what if b had been a negative number? Then this whole thing would be positive. We can take a positive number to 2 thirds. So this rule does not work if these are negative. Because like, if we didn't know what b is, if this was a negative, it changes our answer completely. So we can't use this rule in that case. So, thank you.